Now that iPadOS landed on our iPads, the way we can take handwritten notes also reached a whole new level. In this video, I will show you the top three features that you must know if you want to become a paperless note-taking pro using iPadOS. This video is brought to you by the Paperless Movement community. Join the inner circle of the movement to learn all about how to go paperless, become more productive at work and organize your digital life. Thank you all for your consistent support. And now let's have a look at why iPadOS just makes a note taker's life so much easier and productive. First, the dark mode. If you develop an application nowadays and you don't offer a dark mode, then you are not state of the art. Where does this come from? Well, I don't know, but I do like it too. With iPadOS, dark mode landed on all the major note-taking apps too. However, this is all fake. GoodNotes, Notability and NoteShelf all use the same trick. They simply added dark page templates. They didn't program the dark mode. This means if you wrote with white ink on a black page and you switch to the template to a white one, then the writing will disappear unless you change the ink color manually to black. How this can be done better, you can see on Apple's native note-taking app, where this is really well implemented. If you write with white ink on dark background in Apple Notes and you switch the iPad to bright note, the Notes app automatically makes the white writing black. Now this is what I would say is a proper implementation of dark mode. In case you want to know how I added the dark mode switch to my control center, simply go to the control center settings and add it from there. Multitasking. Notability put in the effort to actually program this into their app before the iPadOS was even released. People were excited as they had the ability now to show two net notebooks next to each other. Well, with the release of the iPadOS, this feature in Notability was rendered redundant in no time. Why? Because with the new multitasking, you can open several instances of the same app next to each other. This was working only for an Apple Notes app at first, but in the meantime, NoteShelf, GoodNotes and added the functionality too. And this is a game changer because you are not only able to show two notebooks next to each other, but you're also able to drag and drop selections between them. Widgets. This was available already in the previous iOS version of the iPad. The option to add quick access to your notebooks from note-taking apps offering a widget. In Apple Notes, you simply tap with your Apple Pencil on the locked screen and a new quick note will open. For other apps such as NoteShelf, you can add a widget that gives you the same functionality on the home screen and lock screen. And now with iPadOS, it is always on hands on your home screen directly. So there's no need to switch in from the left side anymore. However, for note-taking apps that don't offer a native widget like GoodNotes 5, you can use shortcuts instead. That will allow you to create quick notes or open your recent notebook too. Here's how it works. Go into shortcuts and create a new one. Search for good notes, choose what it should do, add it to your shortcut widget and done. So what's your favorite new feature in iPadOS using your note-taking app? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you found this video useful. If so, give it a like and don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll catch you up next time.